Looking to build a killer AMD gaming rig with the brand new X870 motherboards? Stick around as we break down the best boards from worst to first, and help you pick the right one for your next build. First up in our ranking is the ASUS X870 Max Gaming. It lands at the bottom of the list, not because it's bad, but because it plays safe with the basics. If you're stepping into the X870 platform for the first time and you want a clean, capable motherboard without blowing your entire budget, this might be your entry point. It gives you just enough of the essentials, one blazing fast PCIe 5.0 M.2 slot, Wi-Fi 7, USB 4 support, and a solid 12 plus 2 plus 1 VRM setup, each phase rated at 80 amps. But when you stack it up against others, the feature set feels just a little thin. Audio is handled by the older ALC892 chip, which works fine but lacks the clarity and punch of newer codecs. The biggest drawbacks? You're limited to just three M.2 slots. And while that's not a deal breaker, competitors at just slightly higher prices offer four. And then there's the audio. If you're rocking premium headphones or speakers, you're definitely going to feel that ALC892 limitation. So who should buy this? If you're building a budget-conscious Ryzen 9000 series system and care more about Wi-Fi 7 and USB speeds than raw expandability, this is your board. And by the way, links to all the products from today's review at the best price are waiting for you in the description below. Next up is the Gigabyte Gaming X, our fourth place pick. Compared to the Asus Max, this one steps things up with a beefier 16 plus 2 plus 2 VRM and a slightly more refined design. If you're looking for better power delivery at a still accessible price point, this is where the value starts to shine. The USB and networking game is on point. Dual USB 4 ports, front panel USB-C, Wi-Fi 7, and 2.5 gig Ethernet. It holds the same number of M.2 slots as the Asus Max, but makes up for it with tool-free installation and thoughtful DIY features like Easy Latch. And while it doesn't specify an advanced audio chip, Gigabyte's focus on high-end capacitors suggests a step up in clarity and noise reduction. On the downside, we're still stuck with only three M.2 slots, and while the PCIe by 16 slot runs at full Gen 5 speed, other expansion slots are a little underwhelming, limited to X4 and X2 bandwidths. This might cramp your style if you plan on running multiple cards. If you're a mid-tier builder wanting excellent power and ease of use without maxing out your credit card, this board is a sweet spot. And hey, if you're liking this breakdown, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We've got more builds and breakdowns coming your way every week. Taking third place is the ASUS TUF X870 Plus. Now we're moving into seriously capable territory. This board keeps the high-end 16 plus 2 plus 1 VRM setup from the Gigabyte but adds another M.2 slot giving you four total, including two that run PCI 5.0. That's a major bump for anyone loading up on fast SSDs. The connectivity game is solid too. USB 4, fast charging front panel USB-C, Wi-Fi 7, and reliable Ethernet make sure your rig keeps up with modern demands. And finally, Asus throws in the ALC 1220p codec, which is a very respectable leap over the entry-level sound solutions in the lower tier boards. But it's not perfect. There are only two SATA ports, less than all the others we've talked about. If you're someone with a lot of older hard drives or SATA SSDs, this might be a bottleneck. It also doesn't include onboard power buttons or debug displays, which are nice to have in premium boards. If you want strong core features without diving into full enthusiast territory, this board balances power, speed, and practicality really well. It's ideal for gamers or creators who need performance, but aren't building an extreme showcase PC. Sliding into second place is the Aorus Elite from Gigabyte, and this one is stacked. What sets it apart is the insane storage setup. You get four M.2 slots, but here's the kicker. Three of them are PCI 5.0. That's future-proofing like few others offer right now. Performance-wise, you've got a strong 16 plus 2 plus 2 VRM, plenty of USB including rear USB 4, solid Ethernet, and clean ALC 1220 audio with optical out. Gigabyte also gives you some quality of life extras like onboard HDMI, tool-free installation, and power reset buttons that make builds a whole lot easier. The only knock? If you run multiple PCIe 5.0 SSDs, it'll cut into your GPU bandwidth. It's a limitation of the platform, not the board, but it's worth calling out. Also, you don't get quite as much PCIe expansion for additional cards compared to other ATX boards. If you're all about speed, fast boot times, blazing apps, multitasking across NVMe drives, this one's built for you. Whether you're gaming, editing, or just into bleeding edge tech, it delivers. And finally, taking the crown, it's the MSI Tomahawk. This is what top tier balance looks like. Every piece of this board feels tuned for performance. Solid VRM with 80 amp stages, 4 M.2 slots with tool-free shields, and premium ALC 4080 audio. 
you're looking at massive USB support, HDMI 2.1 for integrated graphics, and Wi-Fi 7 with not just 2.5, but 5 gig Ethernet support. It's packed with fan headers, debug features, and a sturdy 8-layer PCB, showing that MSI didn't cut any corners here. Now, if we're nitpicking, the fourth M.2 slot runs at times two speeds. Not a deal breaker, but worth noting. Also, like other boards, there's some bandwidth sharing between M.2 and USB 4, but it's well managed. If you want the best x 70 motherboard that does almost everything right and doesn't overcomplicate the build process, this is the one. High end builders, gamers, streamers, this is your board. There you have it, our top picks for the XA70 motherboards. If you want to dive deeper or grab the best deals, check out the links in the description. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay ahead of your next big build.